Welcome to church. Are you ready for today's lesson? Let's dance. But before we do that, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this day that you have given us and thank you for protecting us. And as we go into today's lesson, please help us understand what we're learning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So get a space to dance and get ready to dance. Have fun! Boys and girls, how are you doing? Good to see you, good to be with you this morning. How was your week? How is mommy and daddy? How are your siblings? Trust all is super, super well with you. We have another amazing lesson lined up just for you. And even as we start, let's go into a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for today. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for every boy and girl that is watching today. 
Father, thank you for this word that we're going to share. And we pray, Lord, that by the help of your Holy Spirit, you're going to help us, Lord, to understand and to practice these things that we're learning. We thank you, Lord, and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Say aloud, amen. Amen and amen and amen. So boys and girls, today we get to talk about something and I want you to say the topic with me. Say over and above. Do it with me. Over and above and above and i just want to ask you guys a question so when mommy or daddy gives you something to do do you do it like you're doing it for god or do you do it like you're doing it for mommy and daddy and basically today's lesson teaches us that everything we do we need to do it like we're doing it for god and I know some of us here, even when we're being obedient in school, when teacher walks out of the door or there's no prefect, we just start shouting and jumping up and down. But really, ultimately, boys and girls, we need to know that every single thing we do, we are doing it as unto the Lord. So I'd like you to grab your Bible so that we can read through this story together. And we're going to go to Luke. We're going to go to Luke chapter 19 from verse 11. And I want us to read together. I want us to read together. Have you got your Bible there with you and a notebook so you could take down some notes? Yeah? So let's read through this story together. Now, as they heard these things, he spoke another parable because he was near Jerusalem and because they thought the kingdom of God would appear immediately. Therefore he said, and now this is the parable of the minas. Minas was a currency, like the way we have shillings here in Kenya, yeah? And this, I just love Bible stories, guys, yeah? So let's read together. So a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. So he called 10 of his servants, delivered to them 10 minas and said to them, do business till I come. But his citizens hated him and sent a delegation after him saying, we will not have this man to reign over us. And so it was that when he returned, having received the kingdom, he then commanded these servants to whom he had given the money to be called to him, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Then came the first saying, Master, your mina has earned 10 minas. So from the one he was given, he, uh, he got 10 more, right? And he said to him, well done, good servant, because you are faithful in a very little, have authority over 10 cities. My goodness, this is amazing. And the second one came saying, master, your mina has earned five minas. Likewise, he said to him, you also be over five cities. Then another came saying, Master, here is your mina, which I have kept. Get this, guys, put away in a handkerchief. For I feared you because you are an austere man, meaning you're a, you're a mean man, you know. You collect what you did not deposit and reap what you did not sow. And so he said to him, Out of your own mouth I will judge you, you wicked servant. Imagine he called him wicked. <laughs> you knew that I was an austere man, collecting what I did not deposit and reaping what I did not sow. Why then did you put, did you not put my money in the bank that at my coming I might have collected it with interest? And he said to those who stood by, take the mina from him and give it to him who has ten. But they said to him, master, he has ten minas. So the master instructed them, this guy who put his mina in a handkerchief, take it from him and give it to the one who got ten. And of course, the people around there didn't think this was fair. But when the master has spoken, you got to do what the master said. So, for I say to you that to everyone who has will be given, and for him who does not have, even what he has will be taken away from him. But bring here those enemies of mine who did not want me to reign over them and slay them before me. So that is that parable, boys and girls. And... Um, <laughs> Just, just looking at some lessons that we can get from this parable. This um, ruler, as he was leaving, had an expectation of his servants. Yeah, In giving them those minas, he expected that there would be a profit out of it. But you can see how the first servant behaved, you can see how the second one behaved, and the third that we are told of. 
right, boys and girls? So this last one, who took the mina? What do you think was going through his mind when he just wrapped it in a handkerchief and just kept it? And you know what, boys and girls, from this lesson, I want us to apply it to our own lives, yeah? Whatever assignment, whatever duty, whatever responsibility you are given, how do you handle it? Because everything the Lord has asked us to do, we will give an account. And not only that, but our increase will be dependent on how we have handled that which the Lord has already placed in our hands. Right, boys and girls? So whatever we do, we are to work at it with all our heart. Because in most cases, boys and girls, our next level is determined by what we are doing now. The seeds we sow in this level are the harvest we're going to get in the next level. Praise the Lord. So, boys and girls, from this we learn to be faithful in whatever assignment or work or task is given to us to do. God rewards even that which is done in secret. So sometimes we think nobody is seeing us, but be sure God is always seen. Yeah? And now for those who are faithful, yeah, you may be doing that, that little thing that God has told you to do and you're doing it faithfully. Even if nobody is seeing it, I want you to be sure that God in heaven is seeing you, he is watching you, and he will surely, surely reward you. Okay, boys and girls, so that's it from the parable of the minas. And um, that's how we can apply it in our own lives, whether it's in school, whether it's a chore mommy and daddy have given you, whether they've asked you to look after your siblings, however small or however big the task you've been given to do, God looks down upon us, uh, looks at us rather to see how faithful we are with that which he has placed in our hands. And just like that first servant, if you are faithful in much, you will be given more. Praise the Lord. And you know, sometimes we wait for huge responsibilities. But if we can't handle the little well, it's unlikely we'll get to the big stuff. Yeah, boys and girls. So now, thank you for your attention. I pray that you've learned a lot from this parable. I have. So let's go to our memory verse for today. Hi kids, it's time for your memory verse. And your memory verse comes from Colossians chapter 3 verse 23. And it says, whatever you do, work it with all your heart, as if we are working for the Lord, not for human masters. Let's say it one more time. Colossians chapter 3 verse 23. And it says, whatever you do, work it with all your heart, as if working for the Lord, not for human masters. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Colossians 3, 23. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. Amazing, amazing. Can we memorize that memory verse by next week? Should I ask you next week, boys and girls? Yeah, so we work as unto our Heavenly Father, not for mommy. Yes, mommy is in charge of us right now. Daddy is in charge of us. Teachers are in charge of us. Headmasters, headmistresses, principals are in charge of us. But above them, there is God. So we should always know God is watching and he expects me to be faithful. Time for money for Jesus, boys and girls. Get mommy, get daddy. Let them help you or anybody around you who can help you. The details for giving are on the screen. Amen, amen. Remember, even in our giving, the Lord expects us to be faithful. Yeah, so if you haven't yet given, get somebody there near you and um, let them help you. Because as the Lord continues to bless us, he expects us to be faithful in giving of our tithes and our offerings. So boys and girls, let's apply these lessons in our everyday life. Don't do things as unto an earthly master. Know that God is there and he expects and he is a rewarder. The Bible says that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So as you're diligent, as you're faithful, even in these things that he has given you to do, he will promote you in your next level and bless you more than you can ever, ever imagine. So let's pray, boys and girls, as we come to the close of today's lesson. 
Heavenly Father, thank you so much for these things that you're teaching us that over and above we should look to you as our Father in heaven. And you expect faithfulness of us, oh God. You expect that we should work at what we do, just as it is in Colossians, Lord, with all our hearts. And you are indeed a rewarder, and you will lift us, and you will bless us, and you will see us through every level of our lives. Lord, I pray that you bless every boy and girl that's listening, and that you'll help them to apply this word, oh God. And that in due season, they will also be promoted because you are a faithful Father. In you there is no shadow of turning. We thank you, Lord, and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen. So see you guys next week. God bless you. Have an amazing week of working as unto God. God bless you. Bye.